Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and a big thank you for joining me on another episode of Bello Calcio, currently out in Japan in the J-League, managing Shonan Balmare. So if you were with us yesterday, you'd have seen our season preview, you'd have seen all of the players that have gone out, all of the players that have come in, you'd have seen our finances and how the schedule is going to work. And you will also know that today's opponents are going to be Melbourne Victory. So we are going to look in this season to defend once again our J League crown, uh, Champions League crown, plus we are also now going to be defending our Emperor's Cup and our J League Cup, plus we're looking to add the J League Copper Sud America to our trophy cabinet as well. But let's not waste any time in jumping into this brand new season. Let's show you the lineup, the brand new look lineup, as we kick off against Melbourne Victory. Here we go then, a few changes in the first team lineup. No more Mikel Antonio, who has gone retired. No more Mayor Yoshida for the exact same reason. We also sold a few players and bought a few other players in. So we are going to be looking at establishing some more first teamers and getting this thing up and running. So the starting eleven that's going to be put out in the Champions League will be Tani in goal, Hata, Tachibana, Kuwahara and Campania at the right back position. So Hatanaka is our established centre-back, but he's suspended for this game. So it's quite an inexperienced back four. Hata being the most experienced, we've got two 18-year-olds and a 19-year-old in a back four. So this could go one of two ways. Uh, we've got Garner, though, in front of them. So hopefully adding that layer of protection. Then got Preysart, Nishikara and Axorn 3 on the right-hand side. They'll be feeding the ball to Machida and Mita. Looking to add to a great season that he had last season. And hopefully continue to score in goals at a rate that is going to put him firmly in the Japanese national team selection pretty soon, I'm sure. But that's the lineup for the game. Let's kick off against Melbourne Victory and show you how we get on. A brand new season then kicks off here and we are up and running. Um, we are on the attack straight away. Two minutes on the clock. Who is going to be standing over this free kick? It's going to be Machido. It's on the edge of the box. Bends it straight into the top corner. Goalkeeper cannot get anywhere near it. And Shuto Machida puts himself on the score sheet after just two minutes of a brand new season. And it's a fantastic free kick, really. The goalkeeper's got no chance. As the ball goes round the outside of the ball, he's getting up the keeper, but he ain't going to get there. And Machida with a screamer to start us off. And that's a 1 0 lead after just a couple of minutes in the Champions League. Changro United also getting an early goal which means that there's two of us on three points at the moment and two of us on no points. Um, this game's been a bit odd. I didn't know what to expect because obviously, like I said, we've got that really inexperienced back four and it looks like they're going to have a chance at working it here as Barnett plays the ball across to Brilliante. Brilliante? Brilliante? Either way, it was a Brilliante goal. Uh, he smashed that from the edge of the box. In fact, he's further than the edge of the box, isn't he? He's a good, like, 25, 30 yards out, is he? So the guy turns off the throwing. Barnett plays it into his path, and he's just hit it first time. Famous comedian once said, foot like a traction engine. That's exactly what that was. And typically, in football manager style, that was their first shot on target too. But a pretty quiet first half from both teams. But there is something else building up here, and it's not for us, although the ball is cut out there as Negro... Negro, it's unfortunate, um, played it forwards, well, played it backwards to the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper played it forwards, and then Axon 3 now is on the ball on the right-hand side, turns inside, plays to Nishikawa, so a few of these players meshing together for the first time today, We've got quite a few players who have just come in, and like I said, that really young lineup at the back, Nishikawa is a man who is established, and Jun Nishikawa, he's got himself a brand new contract in the off-season too, Another five years at the club on £800. And he puts it um, out there that he's worth that by ghosting in through the middle. And scores a great goal to get us back in the lead. So Nishikawa takes the ball. Nice chip over the goalkeeper there. He didn't even do much. The goalkeeper just kind of stayed low. Ball went over him and it's into the back of the net. And we are back in the lead. And Machida's now got a free kick that he's going to play to Tachibana. Tachibana almost scored on his debut, the 18-year-old. That would have been a fantastic way to announce yourself in the first team. Looking at the players here, we are still struggling for fitness. We've had the whole of the winter off, played a few um, friendly games, and all of a sudden the players are 
looking tired. So we've got Campana and Ghana and Hatta. They all look like candidates to be taken off. If we can get another goal here, which we do through Shuto Machida, uh, I think after this goal, we will start to make a few changes and see where we go in terms of what players come on. So the throw in Hatta, Mita, Mita turning provider, Machida getting in there across two men at the front post, heads it in at the near post to score. Wow, I was going to make changes, but it's straight back into a highlight. So let's see what happens here. They've got the ball wide left, puts it inside. Fitzgerald plays it all the way across. Someone needs to try and tackle. Instead, it's just played straight into the path of Ghana, and he plays it to Machida. Plays it back to Hatta. Ball over the top. Mitter is in. Mitter starts the season off just like the end of the last with a goal. Are we getting a... We're not even getting a VAR review. He was definitely onside. Brilliant first goal of the season for Mitter. What a player. This kid is looking... Um, broke through into the first team halfway through last season. Thought we might have had something special. And indeed, it seems we do. It's a great finish there. To probably put the game to bed now, even though we were 1-1 one -one at one point. Oh, there was another highlight. These highlights are just coming in quick and fast. So we're going to make a couple of changes just before that happens, though. Garner is looking like he's struggling. Uh, anybody else? Hatter at left back. So, yeah, we're changing mostly defensive-minded players. Made three changes. Get straight back into the action and see where this was going to go. So they work the ball down the left. What can they do with it? They turn to come back inside, play all the way back out to the left. Can they get across him? Or can we square up and take the ball off them? They do get the cross in. Luckily for us, the, the shot is weak and the goalkeeper gets down. Tanny gets both hands on the ball and saves it and plays it straight out to Tachibana. And let's see what we can do from here. He looks to loft the ball up. Machida wins the header, plays to Preissart. Been quiet in this game, Preissart. He was a name that last season was all over the place. And this time around, he's just woken up, provided the cross for Mita. And that's two in the first game for Mita. I've got a feeling. We're going to struggle to hold on to this kid. I think if some of the bigger European clubs may start sniffing, I think we could have a little bit of trouble keeping both him and the other one, Uchiyama, when he gets his chance. Um, yeah, it's. it's I, I think if European teams want to come and have a look at the player, I think they're going to get themselves an absolute ball. Can we make more than... Can we make another substitution? No, we cannot make any more substitutions. Champions League restricted to three. I think J League is five. Can never get those two in the right order. Uh, but we are straight into another highlight here as um, Melbourne Victory are moving the ball around quite easily. They get the ball out to the wide left and then it's just lofted into the hands of Tani. Rolls it out to Boazri. Boazri is a player who at the moment is asking to leave the club. It's I don't think it's because he wants to actually leave the club. There are lots of small offers coming in from other Japanese clubs and obviously you don't want to sell players that you think are going to develop into stars to other clubs, certainly on the cheap. So we kept turning all of these down. Machida's got himself a hat-trick. I, I was trying to bring him off and he's gone and bagged himself a hat-trick and we are 6-1 up in the opening game of a brand new season. And there's a long ball that just gets played forward. Mitter comes out into this channel. Hits the cross in. It's pretty much carbon copy apart from it's with his foot, not his head. Mitter with the cross. Machida with the finish. And it's 6-1. So yeah, didn't want to sell also Botic. To have a shot from distance. Tanny's turned it round. It's a corner. What can they do from the corner? They're going to cross the ball in. It's going deep. It gets headed away. Um, one of our secret weapons here is the fact that Kuahara is six foot six. So anytime the ball is in the middle of the box, he's the man who's going to get up and head it away, I'm pretty sure. And we've got a penalty here as Axon 3 goes down in the box. I don't actually know who's on penalties. It's going to be Mitter. And Mitter's got a hat trick as well. So we've got um, Machida and Mitter are two forwards on hat tricks. Nishikawa with the other one. I think Mitter, though, will probably get man of the match here because he's not only scored three, he set two up as well. And he's really, like I said, just going to have to keep saying it. He's, I think he's going to be a world star. If somebody comes along and they are really, really interested, we are probably going to struggle to keep him. Um, and we're on the attack again. Not letting poor Melbourne have any time off. 
Kuwahara down the right hand side to Axon 3. Turns inside. What can he do with it? It's a tackle, but it comes to Boazri. He plays it to Fraser. He's had the shot. It's hit the top of the crossbar. And it's out for a goal kick. So, 20, 15 minutes left on the clock now. And this game has been dead for a little while. We have absolutely dominated everywhere. But not as much as I would have thought. We've only had nine shots on target. But we scored seven goals. I'm shocked that Mitter didn't make it. Eight goals there. Shot deflected up and out for a corner. So, let's see. Presart with the delivery. Nobody on the front post. Boisri is going to pick the ball up. But nothing happening. So yeah, from nine shots on target, we scored seven goals. So that is some great efficiency. Both Machida and uh, Mito up top, both scoring hat-tricks. Absolute fantastic start to the season. I was right about Taro Mita. Not only did he score three, he set two up as well. So man of the match performance there. And that is a brilliant way to start the defence of the AFC Champions League. And we are top with a goal difference of six. And absolutely smashing it. Right then. That's an interesting uh, opening game of a brand new season, isn't it? So a 7-1 victory. We have Danny and Professional next in the Champions League. I think, though, we are going to skip a few games here. I think we're going to stick with the Champions League at first because Changroi also won their game. So we'll have the Champions League clash against Changroi next. Then we'll come back against Viva and Nagasaki. And then we'll start looking at where we can go further on into the season and play it game by game. Right then, if you've enjoyed today's episode, Enjoyed the 7-1 victory. Enjoyed seeing Taro Mita tear up Melbourne victory. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We are at 1,400 subscribers now, which is absolutely fantastic. If you're one of them, a big thank you. If not, please consider hitting those buttons. Helps the channel out so much. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Come back tomorrow and see us face off against Changra United in the AFC Champions League.